left-footed corner, and it bobbles around inside the six-yard box, and it's flicked on, and it's in! West Ham United scored just before half-time. It's Kurt Zuma with the goal. It was flicked on to the edge of the six-yard box from Suchek, and then Zuma did the rest. It's a blow for the Cherries right before the interval. It's West Ham 1, Bournemouth 0. And this is going to be checked for VAR here, Willow. So just going to have a look at this now. As our screen goes on the blink, we're going to have a look. I well, don't expect too much from it. Going to be counting, it does, for a potential handball off Suchek. Doesn't go down as a handball. Talking of running at people, Antonio's running at people now as he goes out towards the right-hand side. Cornell goes for the cross, chipped in, comes off Samura, corner kick on the far side. They want a penalty, West Ham. I don't think they're going to get it. Let's have a look at that again on the replay. Nowadays, that is a penalty. <laughs> well, it's being checked to VAR, so it's not over yet. But well, wait and see. It would just sum up Bournemouth's night, really to have the, all both penalty incidents go against them. As we go into stoppage time, four minutes of added time indicated from the fourth official. He's still looking. He's walking over. He's going to get the penalty. Ben Rama puts the ball on the spot. He's had a good game, but Travers, who came on at half-time, can he make the save? It is Ben Rama, steps up and finds the back of the net. Travers went one way, he went to the left, it's 2-0, and it's a miserable night for the Cherries who are going home with absolutely nothing in an evening dominated by VAR.